hello wonderful people so today I got a little order come in and I wanted to do a first impressions thing with you I have been to Sephora it's uh, quite uh, well cello taped where do I even start oh the love of goodness I'll start from the end with nothing on it I said I wasn't going to do a haul for a while, but um, I'd like to retract that statement. As clearly, you know, this sort of happened. So, this is the box. Look at the goodies, you can't even see. Ah. Happy uh, birthday, Beauty Insider thing which is just like this and what do you get? Smoky Extravagant Volume I'm taking it as mascara oh my gosh they are so cute look at them so this is the lipstick oh this is this is nice I will do a swatch for you and everything in a second it's so cute mascara oh my lord Okay, so I'll be doing my um, mascara with that. I'm, I'm going to go through it first and then I'll um, put it on my face because this isn't in any order whatsoever. Tiny tart cheek stain in flush. Super fruit complex. Use fingers or sponge show direct application. Okay, so I've got lots of cheek products to put on all the cheeks I have. It's not going to work, is it, guys? Got this. White Beauty Line and Define Primer. It's in here. So it's meant to keep your. It's just a lip primer. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Ooh. Oh, it smells nice. Mm -mm -mm. So you can line your lips and prime them. So this is their eye cream. Oh, beautiful oh my goodness this is just too cute to even oh my gosh mm, it smells delicious I'm trying to whiz through this so then I can put it on my face <sighs> three <laughs> Amazonian clay blushes I got blissful This one was um, basically Viviana or Anna from um, Viviana's makeup. Sort of, well, I just heard her talk about this so much and I had to get it. It's like a coral, and not what I go for. And Blushing Bride, this is because I've actually got to do my friend's wedding makeup. And to be honest, Blushing Bride, it's like just asking to be bought. So, Amazonian Butter Lipstick in Pink Peony. This is the box. It's just so cute. It's all adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like a cardboardy like, tube. Ooh. Tarte's um, lipstick smell really well, really well. Really nice. I've got their Lip Surgeons pencil. It's so cute. Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation and I got this in Fair Beige. I went on to the foundation matrix to see um, what colour an NW10 is in this and this was the best um, thing. It's fair skin with pink undertones. It looks the right colour. Oh, online I was like this is going to be the wrong colour it just looked so dark to apply some of the eye cream so I'll talk um oh put too much on this is really creamy really nice and it's like a thick cream it's really really nice definitely take a while to um get through to the Amazonian Clay 
full coverage foundation. It's got an SPF of 15. Again, love the packaging of this. I think it's beautiful. Right, I've got my Louise Young LY34. This is like a very weird sort of, I don't know, the consistency is a little bit strange. When I went to the States last year, I didn't really look at the foundations because no one had really tested them out yet and it's everywhere now, like everyone loves this foundation now. I'm going to go for a lighter coverage today and then I'll just, well, we'll see how well it covers everything up, like redness and things. So this is it quite light, I haven't put too much on, I actually really like it, it's sort of, oh my, I just, it set really nicely onto my face. This is just a light coverage though, so I might just build one side of my face up a little bit more where I need the coverage, just to see how well it copes. I can see the packaging is just, it's so easy to use, it's in a little squeezy tube. It shouldn't get too messy. I think it's really good packaging, like it's designed really well. I'm building it up a little bit. I think this is definitely a good, maybe a little bit pale for me at the moment, but um, I don't tan very easily all the time, so this wouldn't be too light for me all the time it's just at the moment it's a little bit light I really like it I like how it's set setting I really like it it's a really good matte shade well I, I'm so impressed with the foundation matrix I didn't think the um put the brush back I didn't think the shade was gonna gonna match as well as what it is it actually looks a lot paler on camera than what it does in person right skin invigorating pigment water mineral pigments vitamin e sodium hyal um, and amazonian clay so the clay and it's cruelty free oh my gosh this makes me happy <laughs> sorry my anyway whatever it's cruelty free i'm super happy because i found a foundation that i actually quite like on the first go that it's cruelty free, it's really good. Um, all of these things are really good for if you're acne prone, like me. Covered, not at the moment, but I can be. So the, the water is good because you it's water. <laughs> water is brilliant for life. Mineral pigments, so you've got that mineral sort of minerals, you know, like bare minerals. I've said minerals too many times. It's good for your skin. Vitamin E, it's a vitamin, it's good for you. I can't read that. It's probably good for you, it's on the box. And Amazonian clay. Clay works to absorb the oil so you won't become really, really oily. Active ingredients. Titanium dioxide. Sunscreen. Zinc oxide sunscreen. I haven't got to worry about the sun. I live in England. Anyway. Thumbs up for this first impression. I'm going to prime my lips. This is Bite. I want to get some of their lip products because I've heard a lot about them. So I'm just going to... I would probably use this as a, a primer more than a liner. Feels really nourishing, easy to apply, smells minty. I like the pen. I like how it's also ready shaped. Like a liner, so you can get right into the, you know, those, you keep his bow. Good, like that bite. Ugh, mascaras. Okay, so I've got a bit closer to the camera so we can see lovely jubbly wand look how massive it is right my mirror's over here so a little bit lovely doing my concentrating face so that's the difference in you my eyeballs it's um a little bit great this is blissful Oh my dear lord, this is just adorable.
think I've gone a bit heavy handed to start with. One is tipsy. Okay, orange is bright coral. I'm not a corally person, but obviously it's a lot lighter on this side. The thing I've got left to put on my face is the lipstick. This is like a really nice natural pink. I'm actually really impressed with all of these products that, you know, I picked up. You know, I couldn't see any of them in person, so I had to really rely on the pictures and things like what I was saying with the colour of the foundation, really relying on that and really relying on the foundation matrix to hope that they got me in the right shade and they have, it's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with the whole process of it all as well. Um, if you've watched a few Sephora hauls, you might already know some of the ins and outs of the Sephora ordering sort of thing. Um, you can't obviously order things, nail varnish, anything you can get in the UK already, you can't um, get in, in Sephora online. For example, NARS is off limits, Bobbi Brown, Hourglass, Fresh, mm, what else was there that I couldn't get my hands on? Uh, just some of the bigger name brands that you think oh my god this is great it'll go in your basket and it won't be until you go to check out where it'll be like this isn't shipped to your location because it's already in the UK um, nail varnishes, perfumes, no go um, even some of the samples and promotions you've got to be wary that they won't ship over um, for example I want, there was a promotion for a fresh lip um, balm and it was a promotion, I typed it into the little promotion code thing and they can't ship there because it is available in the UK. A bit hard to come by, um, but it still isn't shipped over. Makeup Forever, you can get, even though it's really, really tricky to get in the UK. So, you know, you can't get it from Sephora. So I basically just went for brands that I know I can't get in the UK. So Tarte, mainly, Bite. Um, I was going to get some Juicy Moran bits, but uh, just the bank balance would now allow that. So, but this is my first first impression video, and hopefully it's not too long and rambly. I was trying to get to the point, um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. I've now got to um, spend the rest of the day with two coloured cheeks. Oh, wow. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.